objetivo desse evento era a gente trazer toda a parte técnica, os dados de pesquisa e tudo, e, a, e mostrar como que isso está hoje a gente aplicando isso no campo, né? Com resultados, a participação aí do produto já em várias fazendas é, no Brasil. Começou há uma semana atrás com a vinda do Mike Sharing, que é o nosso gerente regional nos Estados Unidos e tem experiência de mais de 20 anos trabalhando na, no balanceamento de aminoácido. You know, to me, was, with a limited number of visits, uh, a half a dozen good dairies, uh, certainly uh, I was fortunate to, to visit some of the better, maybe some of the very best uh, dairies in Brazil. Um, I, I was very impressed. Uh, things were not perfect uh, on any of the farms, and the owners and nutritionists would admit that. Um, but, but they're getting good performance and they're striving for more. And uh, I think attitude uh, accounts for, for a lot more sometimes than, than, than physical or concrete things. Uh, so I see a lot of potential. The most impressive thing was the approach and the attitude uh, of, of the people in the dairy business that I met. They're, they're, they want to do better and they're taking steps and working to do better and, and that's, uh, that's a fun thing to be a part of. Saw several farms where, where Smartamine uh, was being used successfully, where uh, the nutrition has been improved uh, where, to the point that the dairyman can see a noticeable difference in, uh, in the health and the production of the cows. <clears throat> Uh, there's, there's much opportunity uh, for, for, for the farms that are using uh, Smartamine to, to perhaps go further into the lactation cycle. Uh, and there's opportunity for the, the farms that are not yet doing it uh, to, to start doing it and to see those same benefits. So uh, yes, there are challenges. It's, 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 it's apparent. Uh, uh, due to climate and agronomic reasons, for example, uh, uh, flinty corn is grown here and it's harder and the, the, the protein and, uh, uh, is maybe in the grains a little less digestible, the, the starch is less digestible, um, but progress is being made both on, on uh, processing capabilities, better machinery to uh, process the kernels, uh, to release the starch, uh, and genetics on the crops. There, there's improvement being made. so. In my view, while forage quality will always be a challenge uh, here, they've recognized it and they're taking steps, using better varieties of, um, of corn to get more digestibility. Um, today, or yesterday, in, in, in our discussion, we, we talked about uh, better ways to measure NDF digestibility and to make use of uh, that technology, w w which is um, testing uh, a more uh, complete testing of the forage quality, to um, more accurately, you know, predict what a, a feed ration will do, and, and to ultimately do a better job of feeding the cows. Um, so that, that's that I think that's very encouraging. Então a ideia era ele conhecer primeiro o mercado, o as fazendas, o manejo e depois com isso é, a gente a juntar todos os essas visitas com a, a prática, a experiência que ele tem no campo e discutir as dietas e coisas no manejo dentro do evento. Então o primeiro dia do evento foi bem prático, a discussão de dietas, como formular é, a oportunidade de entrar com a metionina em dietas de vacas de alta produção, a maioria das vezes sem aumentar o custo na dieta. 